So, I'm doing battery relocation to the boot using zero gauge cable. This will run 300 amps from the back all the way to the front because under there is going to be my intercooler pipes but that's for a later date. Um, I'm going to use a fuse block on the original terminal with a 300 amp inline fuse. That will be bolted down there to the chassis. So I've got some split conduit and come out through where the rest of it comes out from. Then I'll be cable tied along there and then the rest of it will be split conduit as well going into the chassis where the old aerial used to go then along the along the rail and then into the trunk so the only thing I've got to do now is uh, put that into that terminal actually no that's a lie put a terminal on the end of this and put it on the end of that and then take up the slack where it needs to go So it's not, it's not permanent yet, but I'm going to put some heat shrink around there. Then I'm going to put a 300 amp fuse across there. That's going to be probably bolted across here somewhere or further down. This will need to go, I'll replace this. So I split conduit all the way, all the way out. And then in here where the old antenna hole used to be, I'll have this gland and then that can run with more split conduit all along the sill. So, question to you all, third geners, is are you using this, well, are you relocating your batteries using this route, or are you going through the back of there? Or what? Because I think this is the best route for me, because it's the easiest and simplest. Well, In hindsight, I should have left the antenna hole there in the first place, but that was 30 mil, and this is a 20 mil hole with a gland, split conduit and tape on both ECU and power. Still got to sort all that out, but comes in there. Got plenty to get to the back. Uh, floor's all done. Might as well just show you that now. Can't see much, torches off. But yeah, out of focus. I'm happy with that. I've just got a cable tie all up so it's all nice and neat along with the OEM loom. And then we should be good to go for rear battery. So I've used fresh hardware to put the fender back on. Uh, M6 Nylocks up there. M8 bolts with uh, washers and stuff, M10 down there for the support, uh, all that's been sealed, all that's been sealed, that's the main live I was talking to for the battery, all cable tied or zip tied, whatever you want to say, and then I've done the same under here, that's an M8 bolt going straight through the new seal that I've built. Now we've got the fender back on. Yeah. It all lines up. Yes, damaged and dented, but I can fix that. It's a little bit down there, but it's not too bad. Um, I've got the new turn signals. The grill I'm not going to put in because it looks better without it. And I've got to put this wing mirror back on and then put the ground effects back on and then start sanding and blocking all this crap all this rough texture all over the hood yeah. so now I'm going to start this up and you can hear it with the new exhaust so here we go Let's see.
that one is working. So that's that. Oh, left the lights on. Yep, yeah, it almost resembles a car now. So it's just the ground effects that need to go on. So down that side. And then the rear quarter needs that little piece put back on. And then all that rust treated and sorted over there. And. Yeah, the ring wheel, like I mentioned before, that's going to be plated up because I'm not using the factory antenna. Uh, new battery tail sealed up. Even though it's not going to be used for a battery, which I keep saying, but yeah, good to go otherwise.